So one thing that we know is that when it comes to buying patches, sometimes you just want to know. Hey, what up guys? My name is James. This is Essential Print Supply. And what we're doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys how we get down with custom patches here at the shop. So after we laser engrave our patches, we're going to show you how we airbrush our patches. So that's a huge thing that people want to know. How do you dye your patches? How do you customize your patches? So what I'm going to do is show you how we go from plain old vegetable tan leather to a customized patch with our custom Grip Tech adhesive ready to rock on your custom hats. Here we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to airbrush a test run on one patch just to make sure our color's right. It's kind of what we do over here at Essential is kind of just diagnose everything before we go into full-on production. So let's get started. Here we go. The airbrush that we're featuring here is the Galeri trigger airbrush so this is the GAD 68 model but as you can see there it's got the trigger which makes it very easy so what you might want to do is take an area and just kind of get some um, dye make sure it's coming out properly and the beautiful thing about an airbrush is you're gonna be very controlled with the airbrush now you could take this Maybe put it down here instead of up here. I'm gonna go ahead and run the first coat. And we just want a light coat. We don't want nothing crazy heavy. And you can control the trigger and the amount that's coming out with the back here. So you can come out super heavy. So right now, We've got a really nice coat very quickly on that. This is our golden brown. So that looks pretty good. I like that. So we can go ahead and jump into full production. Here we go. Let's put these back. Now when we do patches, we always create a couple of extra patches just so that we can do things like this uh, with the patches just to make sure that we're getting kind of a nice good color good coat we can practice on a couple before we start hitting the main ones so that's what we're doing here so we're gonna go ahead and get going on this and with this wheel that we've made we're able to kind of spin it so that once we do everything in one direction we can rotate it and then hit it all from the other direction so that's one reason why I created this wheel so that we can just go to town on airbrushing. Now I've got a cooler running over there on that side of the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down. Okay. So nice angle. And remember, light coats don't need to go super heavy right away. off just to give ourselves a little space it's good and this is a nice pro style die so we can get nice coats with this We run about two or three nice light coats. I like the spinning wheel because it allows me to have a little bit of control. And sometimes when you come in a little lighter on the spray, it allows you to control what you're doing 
a little bit more. The reason I like this airbrush in particular, I have a lot of control and my finger doesn't get fatigued. If I was doing this constantly, I think my finger would get very fatigued. I know it would. But also, I don't think I'm going to get as even coverage, you know, because in my opinion, you have less control this way, moving a, a, a trigger this way, than you do this way. You kind of, you know, develop this nice, even style movement when you're just moving a trigger. So again, this is our uh, golden brown. So once we've sprayed our dye on these patches, they'll dry and then we're gonna hit them one more time. Actually, we'll be able to hit these one more time. And then once they're dried, we'll hit them with a Resoline sealer that will add a little bit of a shine, but it's gonna add some protection to the leather patch itself so that over time, when it's on the hat, it doesn't lose its color. Uh, but the beautiful thing about leather is sometimes that's what you want. You want leather to age. You want leather to do its thing when it comes to you know, aging and discoloring. I think that's the beauty in going with natural leather is that it does that. And personally, I like when it comes to staining patches, I like knowing that in some cases, no two patches will ever look the same. When it comes to leather, uh, different parts of the hide might be different than other parts of the hide. So you kind of get these natural results of maybe the stain or the engraving is taking different on certain sections of the hide which really makes it unique it makes it different it makes it high-end and that's what people love about leather all right you guys so now we have our resoline acrylic mix so we've got a mix of 50 50 uh, purified water to acrylic with these light coats, you don't want to go super heavy, but we're just doing nice even coats. And this is going to seal that patch to where it's nice and protected. 